Hello and welcome to my review of the AUX Boom Dacker SNAS Wagon, one of the coolest sounding AUX vehicle names to ever come out from Games Workshop, although I do like the Rooker Truck Squig Buggy as well. Anyway, this model will set you back £30. It's the same price as all of the other buggies that uh, GW create for AUX. It is only one sprue, as my unboxing revealed. Uh, they're all one sprue, which means it's quite a pricey kit um, for just one. But it is quite fun to build and does go together well and gives uh, those that aren't confident in modding and customizing their, their AUK vehicles uh, an opportunity to include such a, uh, a unit in their AUK clan. So what we'll do today is we'll look at the model a little bit closer. We'll go through the spare parts, which there are none, um, and then we'll, com then we'll compare the size of the model with um, similar uh, buggies and vehicles and an AUK stomper. And then we'll head into the rules part of the video. So this is a very, very Mad Max uh, themed um, homage to Mad Max uh, model in terms of it's even got a little uh, Tom Hardy um, crop on the front here. Uh, if we just zoom in and complete with a kind of um, face guard or biting guard, I, I think it's brilliant. Um, all he would need to do is be on a, a pole and then you've got it sorted, haven't you? It, it's fantastic. Um, lots of things going on with this model. Everything from how spiky the front wheels are, very, very spiky. Um, this massive, massive uh, engine on the front here, it's huge. Um, then you've got uh, the Orc Boy driver, uh, War Boy, <laughs> I want to call him, with a Molotov cocktail, it looks like. Um, you've got uh, these twin exhausts here. You've got this massive big shooter weapon with uh, big uh, magazines. And again, you've got this Orc War Boy with uh, another um, petrol bomb. You've got loads of uh, bottles and NOS and all kinds of things going on in there, if you can see that. I don't know if, if the camera will pick that up, but yeah, you can see all those things that are happening in there. And um, then you've even got this uh, grot hanging out the side window with the uh, little st stub gun or a grot uh, pistol, whatever it is. And if that wasn't uh, enough, you've also got this uh, shooter uh, weapon um, at the front as well. Really, really cool vehicle. It's like kind of like an off-road ATV type um, uh, vehicle. Uh, it's uh, it is a buggy. It, it's it's uh, reminiscent of many wagons. It goes really, really well with the truck. I want to say, um, and fits the aesthetics of everything else. If you were only going to get one of these buggies, um, this one would fit in the most uh, with all the bikes. Um, that's what I was going to say. There are no spare parts, so let's go straight into the uh, size comparisons. So the first size comparison I'd like to make is just with the Booster Blaster, which is another uh, like hot rod type uh, vehicle. It's a bit bigger. The Snaz Wagon is, is a bit wider. Um, compared to the Def Killer War Trike, if we just hold these two up, you'll see it's a similar sort of size. It goes well with the War Trike. As a, like a support unit, I, I would see myself getting two of these um, if it wasn't for the, you know, you, you can't move this turret and you can't change the pose. I guess you could maybe just have the turret on there and not have the orc boy. That could possibly work. Um, but uh, and, and again, likewise, you don't have to glue this uh, Gretchen on here. You can put him anywhere or even on a different model uh, if you wish. Um, but that's the one thing these, these models are let down by a little bit is just... Um, variety uh, they only make the model that's on the on the set but if you're an orc player and an orc modeler you know that you can kit bash these models and just uh turn them really really orky okay so that's uh it compared to those compared to the the truck as i mentioned the wheels are very similar with all the spikes and the look and feel uh they go together very very well and these do uh you know, lots of action happening. Um, I like the fact that this is like a, a slower kind of orc vehicle and this is probably a bit faster and better armed, uh, one would one would imagine. It goes well with the, the gun wagon. Um, I don't like the gun wagon kit. I did prefer it to the truck, um, but saying that I didn't really like the gun wagon, I would actually buy another one and I'd buy the Def Roller uh, upgrade kit as well, um, which, which is separate. Anyway, there you go. That's what it looks like next to those um, vehicles. And finally, it does go together uh, quite well with the uh, with the bikes as well. So yeah, building up quite a nice sort of 
rolling thunder, uh, buggy, bike, convoy at the moment. And then comparing it to uh, sort of normal, uh, I guess, size models, such as the War Boss, uh, an Orc Boy, and uh, a little Gretchen. Uh, gives you an idea of how big it is compared to a, a War Boss. And then the last uh, size comparison I make is just with the uh, Orc Stomper. You can imagine these just um, hurtling around it and uh, taking off in speed uh, next to one of these, but that just gives you a, a little size comparison there. Final size comparison I like to make is just with the Imperium model. So you've got a Legacy Space Marine there, you've got a Primaris uh, on the right and Slime Marpo in the middle. Um, yeah, it goes uh, pretty well, especially with the Primaris. I, you know, I can imagine sort of five Primaris near this, uh, all firing at it. Whereas the Legacy, the vehicle looks pretty big next to a normal Legacy Space Marine now. Okay, you've now reached uh, my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon. You'll obviously find it in the Fast Attack section of the Codex. It is a power points cost of a five and a points cost of 95, meaning it's one of the cheapest uh, buggies uh, in the army. So the Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, uh, its stat line reads, movement of 12 inches, weapon skill four plus, ballistic skill five plus, strength five, toughness six, eight wounds, four attacks, leadership six, and a save of four plus. The unit contains one Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon. It can include one additional Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, power rating of plus five, or two additional Boom Dacker Snaz Wagons of power rating of plus 10. Each model is equipped with a mech special and big shooter and each model's crew is armed with burner bottles and a grot blaster so again like all the other buggies you can have a three in one fast attack choice so the weapons then it's got a big shooter it's a range 36 inch assault three strength five ap zero and a damage of one that means that that uh, weapon is effective range of 48 inches very nice grot blaster is uh works as usual it's a range 12 inch pistol one strength three ap zero and damage one but this is one of the main reasons why you'll get this snaz wagon is the mech special it's a range 24 inches not the best but it is assault 9 strength 5 ap minus 2 and damage 1. that's very decent you know it's got effective range there of 36 inches but it's just nine shots and uh, it's a good strength and it's a decent ap if you can hit uh, with it uh, bearing in mind the ballistic skill is 5 plus and um, then it can cause a fair bit of damage Burner Bottles, it's a range 6 inch, grenade 2d6, strength 4, AP 0 and damage 1. But it does have an ability whereby units do not receive the benefit of cover to their saving throws for attacks made with this weapon. That's a potential 12 uh, hits there with strength 4. Abilities, here we go, mob rule, daka 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 and speed mob. Grot Gunner, add 1 to hit rolls for attacks made with this model's big shooter and grot blaster. That's nice because it's got the big shooter so you're going to be hitting on 4 pluses. Billowing Fumes. Subtract one from hit rolls for attacks made with ranged weapons that target this model. That's nice. Gives it a bit more survivability. Riding Shotgun. When this model shoots, it can throw a grenade and shoot with its pistols in addition to any other weapons. It's a nice little bonus. And Explodes. If this model is reduced to zero wounds, roll a d6. On a four plus it explodes and each unit within d6 suffers d3 mortal wounds. That works like all the other buggies. Keywords. Orc. Vehicle. Speed Freaks, Boom Dacker, Snaz Wagons. So there you go. This vehicle does actually have this extra ability, this billowing fumes, which I wish others had. The weapon is, uh, is decent at Assault 9, uh, but this vehicle is a strange one because you kind of want to keep it out and about, driving at full speed, firing off all of those uh, 12 shots. It might not be the best option at uh, high toughness, elite units uh, but it's very good against hordes and it can keep that 36 inch range distance from them as well as it shoots and also if they do get very close suddenly you've got those uh, burner bottles uh, to, to throw out there um, which can uh, potentially get a, a large number of hits. It's nice that it's got that survivability with the billowing fumes. It save is only four plus, doesn't get an invulnerable. It's got eight wounds though and a toughness of six so again that might be more uh, survivable. And that's it for my review for the Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it should have had an extra ability? Uh, do you think the mech special is a bit underwhelming? Should have been 36 inches instead? After all, it looks uh, a lot like a, a big shooter. To me, it's a little bit odd that um, this big shooter has a longer range than the mech special up there, but there we go. Please do put your comments and thoughts down below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching for Gork and Mork.